Um, basically, what I want to talk about is a very important topic. A lot of people are very, very quiet when they talk, and that's a big problem. So what I mean by that is, I've noticed among teaching boot camps, right, a lot of people are so quiet, especially Chinese people and Vietnamese, in my experience. When you're so quiet, right, basically, it's kind of creepy because when you're talking so quiet, right, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to be less creepy because I'm talking very, very quiet. But let's just say the opposite is true. You know, the more quiet you are, it's more sketchy. It's kind of like, hey, let's do something bad or something. My advice for you, right, is just, you know, learn how to talk as loud as you can. A lot of students are so quiet that they're only like one third of their volume. When they're one third of their volume, right, it's kind of like, um, why are you talking so quiet? So whenever you talk so quietly, um, if you're one third of your volume and you're just talking so quiet, right? It's kind of, um, they don't know it. They think that is the natural volume, but they're only one third, right? They should be up here. What I'm trying to say is that the louder you are, the more you vocally project your voice, right? The more attractive you are to women because it's a very alpha trait. And the thing is, how do you talk louder when you're not used to talking louder? When I talk, I'm so loud. I shake everyone's ovaries. What if you keep talking quiet, right? The thing is that, in my experience in teaching, I've never seen a student actually hook a girl in a set very often. That means like they can pull and everything, but they won't get laid. So as I'm saying, being louder, you know, makes it much easier for you to get laid. Basically, there's only one student who's ever got a lot of results. He's from London, he's a Vietnamese guy, right? And um, he's in London, he's quiet as hell, right? But he still got like, you know, good results he's got what three fuck buddies two of them are models but he's also doing a very cool job as um somebody has a lot of status because he has a lot of status in that job right it helped compensate for his lack of height he's a very short guy he's only five foot four but that's only one case that means you don't want to be that guy who's so quiet that you own you are the only one who can um get that kind of result Therefore, there are no advantages for talking quiet. No advantages whatsoever. I mean, I can't think of a single advantage for talking quiet. So what I'm trying to say to you is that talk as loud as you can. Speak from the diaphragm and try to vocally project and who gives a shit what people think about you. If you want to hook sets and you wonder why they don't hook, maybe the number one reason besides talking way too fast is make sure that you are loud enough. <laughs> I've had guys who are so quiet for like two years in a row. Okay, just so quiet. It's like, hey, excuse me, imagine talking like I'm watching a YouTube video and watch it one third of volume, but they feel like it's so loud on the inside, like this. It's so quiet, it just pisses you off. So, fix the volume, fix the issue. If you don't fix the volume issue, you're always gonna have a problem with day game, especially hooking the sets. So, on that note, hey guys, this is John Elite, and welcome to my blog. I want you to click on the link below, right there. The thing is that I write every single day, and this is the most brutally honest blog ever. It is so brutally honest that no one's ever talked about this kind of stuff before because everyone are filthy marketers. And also, when you're in the blog, I want you to look down. There's the products. There's also on the very bottom, over 400 testimonials, all lays and pokes. There is no bootcamp review. There is none like, I like your bootcamp or I like your coaching. Nobody cares. It's all about results. Scroll all the way down and check it out below. See you on the other side of the blog. John Lee out.